Have you ever wanted to back up your complete system? Not just a folder, not just one hard drive of your data, but the whole system. Stay right there, and I'll show you how you can do it. All right, this is what the software looks like when you open it. Let me bring up the website. This is the software that I use, and it backs up my whole custom-built computer, multiple hard drives. It backs up the OS and everything. And I use the home version which is free as you can see right here it says coming soon version 7 free edition so this is all what you get in the uh, free version right here you can clone the hard drives And what I like about it, you can back up a whole hard drive and then tell it just to back up what has changed. So you can back up a copy of your hard drive and then so often you can tell it to back up what has changed and you can tell it how many of that information to keep before it starts deleting it. Keep a one copy of your whole hard drive and then keep five copies of whatever has changed. So when it comes to the 6.1, it would delete the first copy that you have made. So just go right here where it says home use. Click on it. And it will ask you to download it and you just choose where you want to download it but let's get to the software and let me show you how easy it is to actually use it when you open it up you got three choices right here one disk image you want to make a backup this is all of the backups that I have made that I have on my server. This is all the logs. It would keep a exact uh, history of what it has done, when it did it, what time and everything. The clones, image restore. But let's get to disk image. Create a backup. You check whatever hard drives that you want to back up. You can back them all up or you can back up just one. So let's just, let's see, um, this one right here is, this is the OS, the operating system in all my software. Let's back it up. Action right here. Image this petition only. Then it will ask you the designation where you want to put it. You can put it on in a folder. You can put it on a CD, burn it. You can put a backup name, which I just use the default. It will make its own name. You click here and you choose where you want to back it up. And if you got a router, you can go to the uh, network and go to whatever folder on there to back it up. It would tell you total selected 85.72 gigs. 
click next then here you will choose what kind of backup you want you want uh, a full partial just whatever has been changed I like to go here and just add say a full it will ask you what days how frequently do you want it you want monthly weekly daily one time only on event every day what day of the month first month and you choose which months and each time you say weekly it changes here so ask what days of the week what time you want to start what day you want to start say daily every day weekdays every day I mean it just and down here it says if missed then run at next startup so if your computer was not on when this schedule was uh, when it was scheduled to actually do a backup and your computer was not on next time you start your computer it will automatically start doing that task and down here the full right there you tell it how many full backups you want how many partials you want how many you want to keep of whatever has changed last time it done a backup how many of copies of them do you want and you click next and it shows you everything that you got set then you hit finished advanced options compression do you want to compress it to make it a smaller file and that will be the discretion of whoever is running this software because whatever size backup capacity you have will determine if that or not file size how big of each file do you want what's the biggest file do you want do you want to get to one gig and then start generating another one I mean it's totally up to you then you got next option password select rather password protect this image that way on your server the image will have a password so nobody can take it and uh, do anything with it because they have to have the password auto verify image that well it will compare the image that it made to the data that's actually from the source which is your main computer and be sure it's right before it finalizes everything comments you can put comments about the backup you can tell it to shut your computer down when it's done so it has a lot of features that is in here and when you get this set up then you go to backup definition files right here here's a list of my backups the backup here and I want to edit it I can go in there and edit whatever I want I can edit this one which is the OS and the backup folder and say so I want to go ahead and do the OS and the editing uh, hard drive go here do I want to do a full or partial of whatever's been changed I choose that then it will go right through let's say I go here and I go this and I want to just back up what has changed so then I will click right here and it will start backing up this will tell you how fast it's backing up this is just analyzing everything what it tells you what you're backing up right here how much room you have on your backup uh, place where you send in all the data this here will tell you how much time you have left for the uh, backup be completely done its transferring rate is 1.5 gigabytes per second and I got 13 minutes to back up my hard drive my OS
but yeah, it is a very good program. It backs up my system every day. It, I back up my hard drive and everything in my main computer complete the first day of the month. It backs up everything. A complete backup of the OS hard drive and the hard drive I use where I put all my videos to edit it and everything and when I render them they go on that hard drive as well and also I have a hard drive in there where I use as a backup which holds all my personal photos and videos business videos YouTube videos and all and then this backup right here will back up that one hard drive which is the backup hard drive on my main computer which holds all my data and it will back up that once a week so if you need a software that backs up the system completely not just your data but the operating system and everything This is the one to use. I haven't had any problems with it. None whatsoever. Woo! Look at there. I'm talking about multiple tasking. Yeah. But if you need a software that will back up your complete system. Back in the day, you used to back up your data, your pictures and text documents and blah, 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 and all that. This one will just back up everything on the whole hard drive. And the good thing is you can go to the backup source and open up that image and look at all the files and grab any of the files out of it and make a copy of it and paste it anywhere you need to like if you say okay I need a few pictures and some videos take your flash drive stick it into your computer go over to your backup source find them pictures and videos you need copy them not move them but copy them and come back over to your computer open up the drive which is the flash drive and paste them on there that will make a copy on that uh, flash drive of them videos and pictures for you and they stay on the server and the image and you have a copy of them and you can do that remotely as well you can go into them and copy them and paste them on your laptop or your cell phone with the app that I have mentioned and put in the uh, show notes in a video in the past, I think one or two videos ago, I put that app actually FTP, which is A N D. What was it? A N A N D FTP app. I put a link of that in one or two videos ago, and you can use that FT program with the FT in the router that I showed you and talked about because where this program backs up for me is on that router on that external hard drive and I have access to it remotely and it's nice to have it to back up the complete hard drives in your system it don't matter what's on there and like I said in a um, one of my videos that it actually backed up the register key for my programs that I have as well that's what I was afraid of that it would not back that up but after a hard drive crash I put it in there took an hour and a half to put the image back onto the hard drive the new one first thing I did is I booted it up and I checked that program and be sure it's still registered 
and active as it was before it crashed, and it was. Then I went to Windows and see if it's still registered or not. And it said Windows is still registered with no problems. Used to, in the, back in the days, if you take a hard drive out of this computer with the operating system and everything on it and put it in a new computer, you have to re-register it, buy a new key, or if you have a hard drive in there and the motherboard goes out and you change the motherboard, put a new motherboard, as far as it's concerned, you have taken that hard drive out and put it in another one and you try to use one register key of operating system and put on two systems instead of paying one for each. So it's real nice. So the information about where you can get the program is in the show notes in the description below. It's free. There is a paid version. You get more features and stuff. But just the basic free version will back up your whole hard drive. What else do you need? And it backs up on a network, CD. Most of the ones that I've messed with in the past will let you back it up to a hard drive that's plugged into the system that you're backing up. Or it will only back up folders with your data in it. Or it will back up your whole system and burn it to a CD. Either way, it was trying to back it up to something that was physically plugged into that system that you were backing up. This one will let you do that. Plus let it back up to a network. So even if you don't have a router that has an external hard drive, you can plug in another computer in your network, put a big hard drive in there, or multiple hard drives, and tell this program to back it up through your network to that computer. So many different ways you can use this program to back up your system to another source, another backup, instead of trying to have something just plugged into it itself. So move up to that next level and go get this program. It's free and start doing them backups because I know you're good and well you don't want to lose that data. And after that hard drive crashes, it's too late to think about backing up your data because it's gone. So do it before you lose that data. And the good thing is, it's free. And it's the best program I've found so far out there that will back up the whole hard drive. Go start backing your data up. Put this on multiple computers and back up your laptop, desktop. So you don't have to worry about uh, hard drive crashes anymore. Move up to that next level. And I'll see you on the next video.